I'm on the south shore of Grenada, approaching True Blue Bay. There's St. George University that you can see off up ahead there. Beautiful campus, beautiful buildings, run a lot of programs there, veterinary science, medical, administration, etc. Um, and a lot of students we've seen in the area. Uh, True Blue Bay is the first bay that you can really utilize boating as you come along the south coast uh, from St. George and Point Salinas. So we're getting close, it's directly up ahead. True Blue Bay um, is a small bay. Uh, it has a resort called True Blue Bay Resort at the head of the bay. And um, they're an all-inclusive resort, so you get all your meals included and everything. And they run a bus service over to Grand Isle Beach from here, which isn't really all that far. Um, but that is the only uh, sort of hotel and restaurant bar in the bay. Uh, there is a charter company that uh, rents out boats there as well and uh, they have their own dock. Um, the restaurant has a small dock although it certainly isn't the best kept dock but you can tie up there and you can get meals and use the bar and if you're moored which is what uh, I'm going to do uh, they will allow you since you're paying a mooring fee uh, which is 40 EC a night or about $16 US you can use their pool and they do have a very nice pool that is up over top of the restaurant up the hill and gets a nice view of the bay um, and of course you can use their restaurant and their bar if you don't wish to moor um, there is room to be able to anchor in the bay The south coast of Grenada um, is actually very good boating territory. It probably has about 10 different bays. Many of them, of course, restaurants and bars, and quite a few actually have small marinas. Uh, and as long as there's no southern swells, it's relatively calm. Although we have found that it can be a bit rolly at night. Um, but if you want to put out a stern anchor, then you can keep the bow into the waves, which does help. I am at this point in time uh, motoring rather than sailing that's because we're headed directly east and that's the direction from which the wind comes so we're in the no sail zone here and uh, that's the reason that I'm motoring but also of course to recharge the batteries to keep them up and here we're approaching the entrance going into the bay you can see there's a small island on the left and another one over to the left of that so we're swinging over a bit to get into the channel because the bay itself is in a lot of areas quite shallow so you have to kind of come in the channel right down the center of the bay
here I am over um, on the port side and I'm pulling the dinghy up closer to the boat so when I attempt to move her around maneuver around in the bay I won't catch the line in my propeller not a good idea now at the end of the bay in there you can see some boats uh, the charter boats the fleet is sort of on the left there in the center actually and over to the right you can see a big cat that's moored and that's over in front of the restaurant and bar but just up almost straight ahead there from the bow and a little to the right there's a small inlet there and we did more for a couple of nights but it was quite rolly because there were some southern swells coming into the bay so uh, for the third night we actually moved out and anchored in that small inlet and it was much much better than being in the main part of the bay and it is deep enough and there is actually a tiny little beach at the end of the inlet so um, if you are boating down here it's actually a decent place to drop your anchor just as you enter the bay on the right Now here we're approaching the head of the bay you can see a couple of cats that are actually moored out from the hotel and restaurant um, and we're kind of circling around here I decided to moor rather than anchor so looking for a good um, mooring buoy but um, since I'm pretty well single-handed although I do have a passenger on but since at all intents and purposes I'm single-handed why I've used the VHF radio to call into the marina and ask for some assistance in tying up to a mooring. So they're going to send out a young man, one of their dock people, to help moor. So at the moment I'm kind of just circling around until he comes out and gives me a hand. Now here he is, you could just see him on the left for a brief second there, and he's giving me some directions. We're going to grab a mooring just behind that cat that's straight ahead. So he's telling me how he wants me to approach it and what he's going to do and there he is heading up. I had prepared a couple of lines up the front but as it turns out, which some of the marinas do, um, they had their own heavy lines uh, hanging below the buoy. So he's gone up to pull those out and clean them off a little. 
and we'll use those to tie onto the port and starboard cleats at the bow of the boat. So I didn't have to use my lines, but unfortunately, uh, because those lines hang down and usually end up laying on the bottom, accumulate a lot of um, crap on them and uh, weeds and grass and algae. And when you bring them up on the boat, it really does make a bit of a mess. But you can see him there and you can see the color in the water from him trying to pull the lines up and clean them off a bit. The red can or uh, container that you can see uh, on the deck there is um, for gasoline. That's uh, which I mix with oil for the dinghy. He's all set for us to um, tie up, so I've gone into reverse a bit and swung over and now proceeding ahead to where he is so that um, he can tie one of the lines onto the bow of the boat. And there you can see I'm headed up to the bow to um, help tie off the lines on the cleat. And up ahead there, uh, to the left of the mono hall, um, you can see where the bar and the restaurant are. There's actually a mono hall that's turned to their dock there, and that's the owner's boat. Um, but those sort of tan tops are the restaurant and the bar, and then the hotel you can see a blue color is up to the left a bit. It goes up the hill. And we're now secured to the buoy and just relaxing in the cockpit.